Privet i laskava prosimo na mi kanal. Hello and welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you're old and welcome if this is your first time watching. I'm Jude, I do Eurovision reactions and in this series, this new series, Euro Jewels, I am trying to discover which year is my favourite, 2020 or 2021, based on the songs from this year and the songs from last year and comparing each country one at a time to see which one I prefer. And so today, if you couldn't already tell by the thumbnail, it's time for Ukraine and we're comparing Go A, Solove with Go A, Shum. Now, if you don't know who the icons of Eurovision Go A are, they are a band from Ukraine um, with the lead singer Katarina, we have ethnic instrumentation with the Sorpilka, and I cannot wait to compare these two, listen again to Solove um, or Nightingale, and see which song do I prefer, Shum or Solove? And let's dive into some Ukrainian incredible music with some incredible <laughs> voice sung by Katarina. Let's go, I'm excited. I don't know which song is my favourite yet, so we're going to find out together, or in the words of the uh, legendary Senate, we can discover together. So, earphones are in, and I am pressing play. That's very loud. Oh, here we go. Solove. This is the live performance of Solove, by the way. Their stage presence as well is so different, but this is their video performance, and it's it's very, very good. I also have turned on subtitles so we can see what the words mean. Katarina's vocals are so interesting. So she actually suffered from a lung condition, which means that she cannot sing in the typical way. And so she has had to develop her own way of singing this style, which is incredible. Katarusha, Lubiusa, Solave, Solave, Nispi Vairaneniko. I love this song. It's so ethnic, it's so culturally Ukrainian, but it's so different with their own spin on it, which is why I love Go Away. They have their own kind of trans techno beat that they add over the, you know, the national and ethnic sounds. It's so interesting and I love it. Their stage presence is also something just so different. Katarina is so... It's not fun, it's a very serious song actually, but it, it's just a, a good listening experience. And also, the live vocals are so good. Also, we have the live Sobilka, of course, in those sections. It's incredible. And there's just the LED, everything about this. Wow. Wow. It's such a show, such a performance. Go away and know how to put on a show. I mean, I absolutely love... I, I love Solove. It's just, it was my number five or something last year. So good. But now it is time for Shum, and I'm going to be reacting to the official video, um, because why not? Um, I mean, their stage show was incredible, but we're going to compare it with the live video because the video is something special too. It's time for some noise, so let's turn on Shum. Just the entire vibe of this. Dark, and it's so... It's so good. It's the Chernobyl vibes, everything about this is iconically go A. And also, Katarina's vocals are incredible, even live. And the Sopilka really just brings such an intriguing sound and such Ukrainian culture to the song. Just the whole vibe of the song, summoning the spring, based on ancient folklore. You can't get any more eth ethnic and cultural than this. I mean, I know, it's just an incredible style that go I have. Love it the hypnotizing Sopilka. And now it's time for our rave moment. Everything about this, it's just a party. Katarina's vocals. Wow. Wow. Just everything about it is incredible. I adore Go A. I adore both Shum and Solove and I think seeing the live performance of Shum elevated it for me a lot. No, I did love it, but it kind of dropped down my top as new songs were added and new songs were released, but the live performance put it right back up there where it deserved to be. But the real question is, which one do I prefer? Solove or Shum? It's so hard to tell because both songs are a masterpiece. But I think the song that really surprised everyone and brought Europe together 
in that incredible voting sequence was Shum, and I am going to have to give my point to Shum this time. Another point to 2021. Masterpiece. It's incredible. Shum is just an amalgamation of incredible Ukrainian music, an incredible Ukrainian band, group, and Ukrainian culture and folklore. You can't get better than that, and that is why I am giving my points to Shum. But who are you giving your points to? I want you to tell me, do you prefer Shum or do you prefer Solovey? In the comments down below, but thank you all for watching. If you did like this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, do all that great stuff. Make sure you check out the other videos in this Eurojules series. But thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all again later. Bye.